Hey up guys, this is a video showing my newest army project which is my Primaris Marines, my home grand chapter called the Abyss Watchers, who are loosely based off the lore behind the Dark Souls video games, which I'm a big fan of, but um, you don't really need to know the lore behind that to sort of get these because I'm only loosely basing it, so just taking names and stuff and symbols. But anyway, I thought I'd start by showing the, this Dreadnought because I got this for Christmas. It's one of the easy build redemptors. I was really impressed with it and I think it shows off the colour scheme nicely. So, what did I do? Um, my girlfriend actually picked the colours for these a while ago and she wanted to see me try and paint something with Sotek Green and Temple Guard Blue. So there's not as much... So I take green on this because it mostly goes through the through the blues. But um it's so take green, then shaded with Cantor Blue, which gives quite a nice depth to it, I think. Um then Temple Guard Blue layered, uh low fan blue edge highlights, and then mixed with white for further edge highlights. This one I did mostly do with the airbrush with it being such a large model, which has given me quite nice gradients. Sorry, I'm just trying to get decent lighting on here. Um, then I've used black for quite a lot of the forces, sort of, to break up the colour. I think it works quite nicely with quite dark grey highlights. And then gold on any ornamentation, silver for metals, that kind of thing. Um, yeah, I'll spin the model around so we can get a look. It's a really nice kit for 25 quid, to be honest. Went together really easily, as the name suggests, but... Yeah. The shoulder pads are quite large, so I decided I'd try and do some freehand. It's something I want to improve upon. Um, I think it adds quite a lot to a model if you can do decent freehands. So, this was my attempt at an Abyss Watcher from Dark Souls 3. I used some fan art. I found on Google Images as reference and tried to copy it basically. Um, it's come out alright. If you see the original fan art, it, obviously mine's nowhere near as good as that, but I think I've sort of captured the what I was after. So, yeah, I'll spin it around here and then you can see the weathering that I've done on this model. So, basically, to do this, I sponged on my highlight colour, which was low fan blue and a bit of white mixed in. And then I filled in the chips with Chaos Black and I believe it was Mornfang Brown I used for the browns in the recesses and the streaks. Um, there's a bit of, I think it was Fire Dragon Bright, watered down for the rust on the smokestacks and stuff like that and on the silvers. You can see on sort of the knee joint there, the brown and the orange together. I think it gives it quite a good look. My weathering's not great, admittedly. Um, I'm no James from Three Pointed Circle, whose weathering is incredible. But I've sort of been watching his stuff for a while and picking up little tips here and there. I think on these uh, smokestacks as well, you can see the blending better as well. Sort of the transition. Um, this is my chapter badge. This is the Dark Sand. Um, it's very easy to do, which is useful because it scales up well. Um, it's easy to do across the army, only takes about five minutes. Nice and easy, and it stands out quite well because it's on black shoulder pads, etc. Now for the basin, I've gone for rocky outcrops, sort of thing, with snow, because I've always wanted to do snow basin properly, and the new snow paint I found is very, very good. So definitely try that out if you're looking at snow bases, but I've also if I can get this focus, sorry guys. <coughs> Gone for sort of a swampy look. Sort of fantasy poison swamp type of thing. Um, there's some fallen statue there with the abyss spreading from it. Which is an easy comparison to the warp, basically. Um, sorry, I'm moving towards the camera with one hand. Um, there we go, focus back in. Um, yeah. So I'll be showing a couple more of these on the channel soon, hopefully. I've got quite a bit painted up now. I've got two intercessor squads, a captain, this dreadnought obviously, a repulsor, and I'm working on some hell blasters at the minute, so they should be coming on the channel soon and I'm 
I'm really looking forward to playing this army because I love elite armies. I love the models, the scale of them. I think they'll look a lot better than regular marines, which I know is heresy to a lot of people. Just my preference, I'm afraid. But yeah, I'm really enjoying the force. Um, creating my own chapters has been interesting. I mean, I have stolen quite a lot from a game, but it's not all that creative. But um, yeah, it's fun either way. So I'll quickly say, if you want to follow me on Instagram, um, my username is schism20, same as the channel. Um, I post quite a few work in progresses on there because I don't get to do these videos as often. And also on Facebook, I am part of the United Painting page and that's me and some other artists who paint Warhammer and other models and they're all a great bunch of guys so definitely give them a look because it's a great page, it's growing um, and the guys are just great and you'll see some incredible stuff on there. So yeah, thanks guys. Um, see you when I see you, so ta.